students behind me are working on a Minecraft project. So they are creating a model city of Graven, model town of Gravenhurst in the 1920s. Uh, and eventually, with that model city, um, they will be printing it using some 3D printers and there will be a physical model. Uh, I think one of the ideas is for this to be available for tourists to the area to come and explore the, both the virtual town uh, as well as the uh, 3D printed version of the town of Gravenhurst as well. So it's a pretty interesting idea. They're working a lot on the scaling, uh, going through some historical documents to determine what the town looked like at that time. So there's a lot of great learning that's happening through this project for sure. It's really fun because we get to use something that is usually most not not all people but a lot of like like a long a while ago a lot of people were like oh minecraft is just it's just a video game nah, 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 nah. it's not really that important but we get to use something that most people view as something that's just a video game and isn't very necessarily the greatest for you and use it and be creative with it and create our where we live where what we have known for most if not all of our lives and create it as best, as best as we can now and look at what it was in 1925. Perry Sound Muskoka Community Network was awarded the grant and we are the partner with them to um, put that grant into the community. That grant is going to be used for 3D printers, for materials for the 3D printers to feed them, the filament, things like that, for paint, but also will be used for transportation to get our students from here to the archives or from here to some of the sites that they need to explore so they can actually build them properly. We have plans for workshops that we will be using some of that funding for. We also plan on taking this project out of sight of our community and being able to showcase it in places that are kind of awesome for our students to be able to, to be exposed to, to show off what they're capable of and what schools could be capable of if they wanted to explore this kind of technology. Minecraft is something that all the students are interested in, so you're, you're taking an area that they're already engaged in, in bringing some learning into uh, the Minecraft world that they're already invested in. So it's, it's a great opportunity and uh, it's voluntary. Students are here uh, every Thursday after school on their own time. So you know when it's on their own time, they're truly invested in the project. So it's, it's great. We know what they intend to build. We don't know until we really start getting into it, it what our pace will be. We actually, from past experience, expect it will be faster than we anticipate. So we do plan on being done by the end of the school year, and we don't know what that'll look like.